So OpenAI has released their official ChatGPT mobile app, and while it's great not having to log in via the web every time, it's yet another app we need to install and take up space on our phone. And I know it's only a few megabytes, but for some reason I never have any storage on mine. And basically ChatGPT is just a messaging app where you send a prompt and wait for a response. So why not use the same app I already use for that? My plan was to build an SMS app using the OpenAI API and Twilio. If you don't know what Twilio is, it's a service that provides programmable communication tools for making and receiving phone calls and text messages. It's a pretty cool service with a lot of documentation and various different programming languages. I ended up using the Node.js documentation and I followed this example on custom responses to incoming SMS messages. Basically what this code does is it creates an express server with a single post endpoint where you can receive messages sent to your Twilio number and respond to it by creating a messaging response object. The whole point of this express server is for it to be used as a webhook by Twilio's phone number, but I'll get to that in a minute. In order to integrate ChatGPT into the mix, we needed to use the OpenAI's API. Unfortunately, the only way to access this API is by adding your credit card information to your account. There's currently no free trials, but once you do this, you have access to the API and all the different models and services. To use the API, you can make requests to their endpoints, or you can install the OpenAI NPM package for Node, and this is what I ended up using. I created an OpenAI.js file with all my dependencies. First thing we do is we create a configuration object where we pass in our API key. Then we create an OpenAI API object and we pass in that configuration. Then I created a function called AskGPT that has a parameter called content. This is just a prompt that will pass to ChatGPT. And how we do this is by calling a function called createChatCompletion. And inside of this function, we pass in an object with a model. The model I'm using is GPT 3.5 Turbo. Uh, and then inside of messages, uh, we create another object with a role as a user, and then we pass in our content through there. Then we just await the response and return the message. Now, coming back to the Express server that we created using the Twilio documentation, uh, everything pretty much stayed the same. We have our post endpoint. I just changed my endpoint to SMS. We're still just grabbing the message sent. Now this time we're passing it to that ask GPT function that I just went over, um, waiting for that GPT response. And once we get it, we send it back to Twilio. And that's pretty much it. Next, we need to actually host our application. I decided to host mine on Render. It's a cloud service for hosting. And the nice thing about it, it has a free tier. But once you actually have your application hosted, you're going to want to come into the Twilio dashboard and go into your active numbers um, and then come down to the section where it says messaging configuration. And as you can see here, towards the bottom, you see some uh, a section where it has a message comes in uh, with a webhook. And inside of this URL, you're going to want to put your um, URL to your application and that post endpoint. Now all that's left to do is just test it out. As you can see, it works pretty well. Of course, sometimes it takes a bit longer to respond depending on what you ask it, but that's just the case with any instance of ChatGPT. So now next time you wanna generate a text message, you won't even have to leave your messaging app. ChatGPT, dude.